Okay, um, I'm already messing it up. Hi, it's Megan from Channel Megan, and it's been a hot minute since I've updated my channel. We are also in a different Kadokakan location in Tokyo because of reasons that we'll maybe get into at the end of this video or in a community post. But um, here's my drink that's melting. Um, it was very cute before. Um, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. So we're kind of impressed for time, but uh, it has been one year since I started guitar after a 20 year hiatus and I wanted to give an update to show you how I'm doing. As you are by Nirvana um, so yes I've gone down the Nirvana rabbit hole um, it just seemed kind of inevitable that this would happen um, because the Moffats were huge fans of Nirvana they were huge fans of silver chair bush all of that brilliant foundation to get those skills get those guitar skills 
so that I can play the songs on submodalities. Um, maybe I can post the pictures here. My heart goes bang, bang, boom. It's just another face. It's just another face. So that's really exciting. Um, what I played here is based on a demonstration that was posted by a girl named Ellen at Forever Faithful. Her channel name is very stylized, so I'll maybe post it right here. Um, she is adorable and she's very easy to follow. She's fantastic. And I just learned the song this last Thursday. It's still pretty rough, but I'm really happy with it. <clears throat> um, what she didn't mention in her video is that this version is not the version that is played on MTV Unplugged and it is not the album version. Um, now I'm still working on my music education. For those of you who know what you're doing, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, but I can demonstrate like this is, um, by the way, this is the E standard tuning. Um, my understanding is that for the MTV Unplugged, it was tuned half a step down, but the Nevermind album version is tuned a full step down. Um, so this is kind of original-ish key. I was able to play it before. Yeah, so that's super low, and I'm not even sure if I can sing that low. I don't I don't know if I can sing in that key, let alone tuning it down. Um, so I think Ellen's version is really good. Her key is really good, but like, uh, watching MTV Unplugged, I noticed that there's a bunch of like sliding there that I really want to, um, I really want to be able to do it impeccably the same way Kurt does. Kurt makes it look so easy. Ah! Um, that means we're running out of time. Ten minutes, folks. You heard that. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we have time for maybe one more song, and then we have to beat feet out of here, dude. Okay, so. <clears throat> okay, so last song, and uh, we're out of here.
pressured <laughs> because we're running out of time. Ah! to wrap up we need to check out so we don't get um charged for overstaying finish my drink and uh beat feet to nagoya if at all possible we're very like ah! okay okay uh okay so thank you all so much i love you and i uh, will see you guys in the next video okay so update folks we are stranded in tokyo um the Tokaido Shinkansen is right behind me, but if we look over here, um, everything's been shut down for the night. And uh, I do not want to pay for a hotel or a uh, hostel or anything tonight, so we're just gonna camp out until the service starts running again. So, yeah, we're gonna go get settled in and, and we'll get you guys caught up about uh, what's happened in the last, like, 18-ish hours. Okay, so uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so, hi internet, we're kind of settled in. Um, we're gonna draw attention to the speaker over here. Um, it's just spitting out static. I don't know what's going on there. It's, um, I'm not an audio engineer, but I, if I had to take a guess, maybe somebody forgot to turn it off. Um, so I didn't want to sit over there and have to listen to that, but like, yeah. <coughs> uh, so we're stranded, making the best of it. Um, so like, where do we start? Um, it was snowing in Nagoya when I departed for Tokyo and um, I was coming to Tokyo for business and I was so scared that I wasn't going to make it to the meeting in time uh, because the <clears throat> excuse me the Shinkansen was delayed by like 30 minutes 25 minutes or thereabouts so I was like oh my god am I gonna make it but I made it um, I don't want to say the location maybe, um, but needed time to like, to Nenshu, uh, Egore, um, to practice, uh, leading up to that meeting. And, um, yeah, it was cool. Um, just out on the street, I played uh, Nirvana, Calm As You Are, same as what you saw earlier in the video today. And it was getting attention from people. It was pretty neat. Um, there was a delivery truck nearby and the delivery guy's looking at me. He's doing his job, but he's like eyeing me as he's doing his job. And, um, he was pretty much finished with uh, his deliveries. He comes back and he says, I love Nirvana. Um, so that was neat. Had the meeting, the uh, meeting went pretty well. And then <clears throat> I went back to my old flat. I met my old flatmates there. Um, I didn't really do much in terms of like sightseeing or anything today. Um, just kind of chilled back, um, talking with old flatmates, meeting new flatmates, um, and just played more music there. And um, it was cool jamming with people. 
I started playing Nirvana and then um, other folks came in and started jamming with me and uh, it was quite special uh, playing Come As You Are, Smells Like Teen Spirit with other people just jamming with you. Um, I learned a lot too, but like I really need to start reviewing more of the music theory and stuff so you can jam more on the spot with people. It's really hard to do that when you don't have the education behind you. But like, um, take this as a lesson that it's never too late to st uh, start a new dream or pick up that dream that you uh, left behind because of adult obligations and stuff like that. Um, it's never too late. Um, yeah, so we did that. Um, had like lunch. It wasn't really anything special. I just got the Lawson Clombini lunch. I can maybe put a picture there. But like, yeah, so that happened. Um, even though the Shinkansen was delayed, um, <clears throat> it was still pretty smooth. I had like the Shinkansen lunch. I could maybe put that there, but like, well, breakfast, lunch, brunch. Um, yeah, so I think, I think that pretty much sums up the day. We're stranded right now. We're making the best of it. Uh you would have seen that I haven't updated the channel in a while and I mentioned that earlier but basically life kind of got in the way. I got sick over Christmas uh, right after I filmed Good Riddance Time of Your Life there. Like I was feeling it in my voice even when that was shot um, and then it just steadily went downhill. And I was sick over Christmas, I was sick over New Year's. Um, I still have a residual cough. Um, so that's been part of my life. And then just working, you know, life stuff got in the way. But basically the plan is, um, I have some footage from ba -ba 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 Stamp Rally in Nagoya. And I can probably post that pretty quick follow that up with the original uh, Tokyo vlog. Okay, so uh, just to quickly follow up, I kind of repacked my suitcase. Um, I also didn't address why we went to a different karaoke location. Um, that's because I didn't plan at all and I thought I knew it was a station and I didn't and I completely went to the wrong station. Yeah, um, so, yeah, uh, maybe we'll throw some bloopers in here. So bye, 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 bye. Okay, so hi, internet. Um, I just got kicked out of Nag uh, Nagoya Station. I just got kicked out of Tokyo Station. Um, security was making their rounds and kicking everybody out. Um, you're not allowed to stay inside and wait until the service resumes. Rah, rah, rah. And I got escorted out. So, yeah. Um, I'm not the only one in this situation. There's other people kind of just waiting there. And there's really nothing no nearby. Um, Tokyo Station is a major hub. So, there's like... Um, there's lots of restaurants and stuff inside. So, it makes sense that there's going to be nothing outside because they don't want the competition, right? But then you're just kind of SOL when everything is closed inside, the station's closed, and there's nothing around outside. So it's like, mm, <laughs> it's kind of a Shogun Eye situation. So uh, yeah. Um, the security guy had a pretty good sense of humor about it, but, um, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the other part I didn't mention is that, um, since I had nothing else to do, my phone's dying and I forgot my charger at home, I figured I'd start practicing guitar and in that area there was a guy there just 
uh, just hacking and coughing all over the place with no mask. And then I start playing Good Riddance. Dude bends over backwards, quite literally. I couldn't believe how flexible this guy was. And he walked away. So it was like, problem solved. <laughs> um, so that happened, but yeah. So like, um, I think this is like the central entrance, Dr. Dr. Uh, we're gonna flip around. <clears throat> yeah, it's the uh, Yasu central entrance, kind of. The sign's obstructed there, but yeah. So, yeah, um sucks to be me but here we are so we're just gonna walk around for a while and just kill the next three hours maybe we'll eventually find a convenience store or mcdonald's something nearby but yeah um we'll keep you guys updated on the situation hey one more time Mm-hmm. <clears throat>